called paradise. Glittering as crystal coming out of the seat of Theos, which represents the kingdom of Theos and the Lamb. The Anunnaki Elohim Malachi Zadok is also called the Lamb of Theos. Also, for he, like the Messiah Jesus, who suffers and is persecuted for righteous name's sake. The Lamb's job is to teach the Ishmaelites in order to bring about a reformation and renewal of Al-Islam in its pristine purity called Nuwaubu. Your true way of life. Do you follow? In doing so, he must combat the evil reptilian as he did in the heavens when he blessed the one who rebelled against Allah by refusing to bow down to Cadman. Adam, Zakar, was cast down with his 200 helpers called Cherubim, or the 200 fallen Anunnaki. In the middle of what looked like a market in it, with so many people on it, the market street is described as of pure gold, as if it was transparent glass, meaning you could see right through it. The main street was of gold through the city. And on both sides of the river was a tree of life. In Revelation 2 to 7, it says that those who overcome the evil one and his agents will have the right to partake of the tree of life. And here, the promise is fulfilled. The tree of life, as a symbol, is first mentioned in the book of Genesis as a test for man. Cadman and the Cable were not to eat of the tree that was in the middle of the garden. Yet Nakebao was seduced or tricked by the evil whispering Khanes, the evil reptilian being Hilal, son of Shachar and Mailita. The tree of life which gives fruit, 12 fruit every month which is almost identical to the description by Ezekiel in the book of Ezekiel 47 12 and the leaves and the tree would to heal the, na the nations the leaves of the tree would be used to heal the nation of Nubians who enter the city there will be not there will not be any more sickness disease or death and all who are cursed who are the descendants of the fourth son of Ham and Halima called Canaan whose real name is Libana did not exist anymore okay let us back it up a bit here people what we just read here is actually Revelation 20, 22 4 which the King James Version or translation from the Greek try to hide the King James Version says and there shall be no more curse which is vague and deceptive however from the Ashuric Syriac Arabic we have Wakulli Ma'loon and all who were cursed Le'yakunu did not exist anymore Wakuli Malun Leyakunu and all who were cursed did not exist anymore. So Revelation 22:4 is the answer to all you black bleeding heart philanthropists. Who are constantly asking are white people 
also going to heaven in the universal scheme of affairs there is never such a concept as forgiveness the universe is built on cause and effect action and reaction the circle and the square it all comes back to you bear in mind that there is also the Mongol mongoloid curse and the Hindu fallen angels curse whose offsprings are the gypsy who descended from the Altai mountains imposters now calling them themselves Egyptians Saudi Arabians Syrians Iranians etc they are all out of here but the seat of Theos and Tammuz the lamb is in it and his Theos was servants who are the heirs of Allah Theos Eli El Elo Anu the Most High they walked with the lamb no matter how hard the mission may have felt at different times. They firmly believe in him and work for the perfection uh, who serve him and in the end they will be rewarded for their works of righteousness. They will see his Theos's face not in a literal sense rather they will be allowed into the barriers of his presence unlike during the time of the Israelites when they were barred from entering the most high place where Yahweh of the Elohim's presence was in the tabernacle holy tablets chapter 6 tablet 14 verses 1 11 through 171 will give us more insight into the barriers of Theos' presence and it begins excuse me why 100 one is for Allahu El Aliyu the most high is God being one the one in the being is God being the 99 without the one there with the 99 attributes being an odd number on Allahu El Aliyu the most high is one with the odd attribute and Muhammad our servant spoke that which Gabriel Zadok had given him from the ruler of the worlds without commandments of his, his own because without Allahu El Aliyu the Most High the Most High's permission he would not have spoken a word one day Gabriel had thought he brought 7,777 verses through Ahmed he claimed that he brought the message to each news bearer I was the messenger of each of them I brought the commandments to all the news bearers that was the idea which came from Gabriel Alun Alun El the Most High knew all his thoughts for he had knowledge for he had no knowledge except what Alun Alun El the Most High had given him Alun Alun El the Most High summoned Gabriel and he said go to Ahmed Go give Ahmed the Taslim and give him this verse to recite. Tell him to say, 
Al-Zabur, the patient. Tell him to give it as a sign to his followers. But the carrier forgot his place. He brought forth the principal eye. He brought forth arrogance and what is known as the eye. Gabriel came to the thought, I am the one who gave you such and such and so and so. I am the one. He was supposed to be bringing forth the al Zabur principle from Alun Alunel, the Most High. As Alun Alunel, the Most High had said, but for Gabriel, all he had was I. I myself am bringing this, he thought. He addressed Ahmed, the news bearer, and said, Al-Salamu Alaikum, else peace be upon you all. And Gabriel said, Alun Alun El, the Most High, sends his salams to you. Did he? Have you seen Allah? Who are you? Asked Ahmed. Who are you? Then Gabriel said, Oh Ahmed, don't you know me? I am the one who brought all the ayats, all the signs to all the other news bearers. I am Jibrail, Jabrin, Gabriel, son of Son of Raziel and Zamael. Then Ahmed said, I never seen you before, nor heard your many names, 19 different pronunciations of them. I, I, I have not seen you at all. Gabriel said, Alun Alun El the Most High told me to say this to you. Did he? Have you seen Alun Alun El the Most High? Asked Ahmed. No, I have not seen Alun Alun El the Most High. Gabriel said. How can you tell me what Alun Alun El, the Most High, has said. How can I accept it? I have not seen you before, and I don't accept the words you bring now. I would not accept the words of one who has not seen Alun Alun El, the Most High, and I have never seen you before. Gabriel was shot. You have not seen me earlier, but I brought you so much. Now, I have not seen you, but I am Gabriel. I have not seen you. I do not accept you. You have not seen Alun Alun El the Most High, so how can you know Alun Alun El the Most High's words? How can I accept what you say? Gabriel went back and complained before the throne of Alun Alun El the Most High with tears. Ahmed said he has not seen me before. I brought him the signs, the seal but he did not accept it. He asked me if I had ever, I had seen Alun Alun El and I said, but I have not seen you. He said that if I had not seen you before, that he could not accept the word of one who had not seen Alun Alun El the Most High. Gabriel then asked, oh Alun Alun El the Most High, 
Ya Rabbi, O oh, sustainer, what shall I do at this point? Alunel, the Most High said, Verily, look at the wall of the soul. Then the wall of the soul opened, and there was one thousand veils. An indescribable veil was there. Its description had no limits. All the divine rays radiated from the, that veil, and the second veil was behind it. None of the veils of this green light could describe the powerful light of each piercing gray penetrating from the world, penetrating from this world to the world of the souls. Then the third veil opened and it was emerald green with pulsating light beams spreading coldness everywhere. Then the fourth veil opened and brilliance was there. It is impossible to speak about the light for from it came a vibration, a sound. The Aum sound came from the light. The iron principle. So, speaking, go say this. Go tell Ahmed that was the sound light. When Gabriel looked, he could faintly make out an image emanating from the light. Gabriel asked, Who are you? El Hayu. He said, Ya El Hayu are the wonderful words. Ya is praise and Hayu is life. El Khidr, El Khidr. They are secret words. Among some of the words, they are secrets, said the voice. Then Alun Alun El Most High asked, Did you see what that was, Gabriel? Did you see who it is? I am the light. The light I am. I am who I am, Yahuwah. They are not two, but one. This form is the that, the grace. It is within me. I am within it. It is the completeness which is illuminating the sounds. I do not speak, it speaks. I exist within it, and it exists within me. I speak my words, and I speak its words. I explain my to my creation I explain things to my creation through this light. The one who is there and the one who is here are one. Looking deep into this light, you will see three memes. This is the reason why I have made you to carry the revelations as a witness because I did, I don't give form to what is formless. I created you to speak as a witness to provide the proof. But what did you say when you left the last time when you were going, Gabriel? You said, I myself taught the 124,000 news bearers 315 apostles if you overstood if you overstood where where the revelations came from who it came from why it is going where it is going who was the one speaking then you could have overstood El Sabor, Gabriel, which you were bringing. Because you did not overstand. Because you went to Ahmed, bringing the I principle, and he did not accept you. 
Then Ali and Ali and Elder Moses I said, Go now. Tell him this. But first, you must overstand El Sabor. Then Gabriel said, We will go. Arriving before the earth, Gabriel saw Ahmed sitting in the cave, ever so patiently awaiting. He addressed him, Peace be upon you, O apostle of Allah. And peace be upon you, Gabriel, messenger of Allah, the Most High. Why are you just arriving now? We came before. Gabriel, Gabriel said, Oh, I did not see you. Then, who saw you? Gabriel said, There was something that we have to pass on to you. It has the power to control Shaitan. It has the power to control Shaitan. It's the seal. Give it to your followers and shaitan will not triumph. Then Muhammad said to Gabriel, You must accept al sabor within yourself. Then give al sabor to me. Then we will make it exist in the hearts of other mortals. There are secret grace which exists like this. When our revelation is being received from Alun Alun Elder Most High, what exists within Alun Alun Elder Most High goes to the whole world. Unquote. So, the answer O Allah, aiders of Allah, back to revelation. So the answer O Allah, aiders of Allah, will be allowed into the barriers of the Most High's presence. Just like the Elohim Anunnaki Gabriel Zodok was allowed. And his name is in their foreheads. From being servants of Theos, this is not the same mark of those who prostrate to the peace will have. And there won't be any shadow over there and no need of light from a lamp. No, any light from the sun. For energy. The crystal city doesn't need a sun or a moon because it is not within the pull of the moon's gravity. In fact, the planet Earth is under the light of the crystal city. The crystal city is outside of your star or sun's rays, yet it, is, it has no need of them. It has the energy of one million atomic bombs which make intergalactic travel possible the inhabitants of it that is the crystal city have the ability to split atoms the inhabitants of it have the ability to split atoms the same way cells split themselves do you understand people this is speaking of each being residing on the planet ship Nibiru. The chosen ones who are raptured will also be given this ability amongst other things. Dr. Malachi Ziyog, the angel Melchizedek, already has this ability. Do you follow? So you cannot capture him. He will simply dematerialize from there or any way you attempt to subdue him and materialize over here or any way he chooses. Get out of that dead zone. Back to Revelation. They learned a long time ago to break time barriers and travel thousands of light years in 1,000 years or in one day. Because the curious Theos will give illumination to them and they will rule forever and ever as kings and priests after them or ancient mystic order 
of Melchizedek, the head of the Elohim. Now getting back to the Holy Tablets, chapter 9, tablet 6, verse 113. This is the record of the Adamites. This is the record of the Adamites, the Homo sapiens, in the sixth day of the 42,000 42, 42, year period of their time when the Elohim created Adamites just like themselves. Thus ends today's video. We hope you have learned something from this video. And we urge you to share this video and to subscribe to the only channel where you will learn true ancient Egyptian mysteries. No more lies, no more guesswork. So share, subscribe, click on the like button below and see you at the next video.